welcome to this video guys in here we're going to I'm gonna first start the car it's super cold uh, we're gonna do a couple of things I'm gonna show you how the VE analyzer works so I'm gonna grab a long big log a bunch of logs and also in here we're gonna go to startup uh, stepper while cranking so 255 is too much I'm gonna change here to 180 because this is why the car goes to 2500 uh, <clears throat> this is when it's too cold we're gonna say it's 180 uh, then when this temperature I'm gonna say 120 and then we're gonna see how it behaves here probably 80 and then here 60 we are going to I think this is pretty good but I don't think this 255 is good at all so I'm gonna change this here to let's try 180 and see how it behaves this is gonna be 160 and yeah so on so this should work well that's it. So I got it idling pretty good. I think it's still a little high, but I changed this here to 13 uh, and here to 14, and this is where it's idling. All right, so I'm gonna just hit here, start logs, and we're gonna hit it. Now I'm just gonna drive a little, and it's going to grab all the RPMs, AFRs, everything we need to know. We're gonna analyze together. And I'm gonna show you the VE analyzer. All right, see if you guys can see anything. It's like 12 pounds of boost. Uh, yeah, it sounds awesome. We have a big log getting mostly third gear. And look at that. Oh, it definitely grab and go. Let me see. So we are 40 miles per hour. Alright, so we got lots of logs. Um, I don't even know, four, five, seven seconds. I don't know, 60 seconds, 450. Uh, yeah, it's like eight minutes, something like that, So, which is great. We're gonna go inside, I'm gonna share my screen, we're gonna do it together. Alright guys, so now you know this little screen, I'm looking at the other one because it's bigger. So, this is a big log we have around eight minutes and we i'm just going to go through a few areas here so we're gonna um see how it looks but it seems like here there was a first gear or maybe this first and then second and then third in here but driving through the neighborhood i know because i remember um but then you can look at the um areas in here on this table so you know where you exactly uh, the exact point is so this seems to be uh, where I did my first run quote unquote so this guy here first gear or probably second uh, it went all the way to 89 
um, and you see the AFR here. My AFR is 14, my foot is on the gas, and it seems to be a little low on 89 there. Uh, and then if you keep going up, go up on the RPM, and it apparently stabilize, stabilize on the 70 kPa. Um, and we still a little lean in here. Then we go to another gear, foot on the gas, as you see here on the bottom, the last graph in lines here. Um, yeah, so this little part here is me on the gas, on the throttle, and then take foot off, and then foot on, and foot off, and all that stuff. So um, we're going to keep going. Yeah, look at this one. So this, again, goes up, and then you see 15, 13, 12, 11, 7. So it seems to be a little rich on between uh, 90 and 100, and... 3500 rpm so if we keep going probably first gear and i'm just testing so i don't want to go all the way to the end but um now my foot is off so i cannot count much but uh here again so you see it's a little rich very rich right here so 113 which is those lines here it's it's between 10 and 9 and it was supposed to be 11 7 um so yeah that's a, a point where we need to look at and then you see here again uh it seems to be that everything above here um it's a little rich and in some other areas down here is a little uh, lean so this would be the areas that I'll be more worried about being lean because that's where <clears throat> we get the boost and so again we have a long stretch and then go up this went up pretty good and uh, we got on boost <clears throat> you see there 140 and yep again 10.8 was my AFR and it was supposed to be 11.1 pretty good huh uh, but then again took foot off and it went down all the way down so yeah so it seemed see, this is what um, I can understand using this here so what I'm gonna do first of all I'm gonna save to us I'm gonna save us this big name here so I have whatever is in here I'm not gonna lose it and we're gonna open Megalog Viewer. That's where the VE analyzer is. Uh, the sad part is after all of this, when we change the timing, <laughs> we need to retune. So, I but I want to be sure that the gas is close enough. Uh, <clears throat> all right, open tune, current tune. I don't think I need to do that. VE analyzer. Um, RPM, yeah, 1500, 1000 is good. Uh, max RPM, I'm gonna do 8000. Um, minimum uh, map, so 260 is max. Minimum, I'm gonna put like 50 because I don't want to mess with this bottom lines here for now. Um, so let's do 50 is good. Otherwise, it's gonna mess with my uh, idling. Coolant temperature. Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Let me see what was my coolant temperature here. <coughs> this is around 113, so it's, it's working pretty good. Yeah, 109, so I want to get over 100. Uh, 110 is not too much. I'm going to do 90. There you go. <clears throat> um, yeah, sounds pretty good. This is my table. You need to have an AFR table, by the way. So uh, this is my AFR table. This is what I'm chasing. 
so in this area here I want to be around 14 and 15s and then up here 13s 12s 11s and above uh, 200 kPa I want all to be tens on the high tens and low tens not nothing on low tens to be very honest um, so let's run analysis you're gonna see as it's running it's gonna change the values in here yeah so look at that do you remember so here you have a, a, a little log saying that uh, it used 2900 uh, records and change uh, 93 cells analyzed so you have here the results you remember that we look up here and we knew that uh, it was running rich um, so it took some gas out of the way so you see here took some gas out of here took some gas out of here so what I'm gonna do now I want to be sure that uh, this is smooth so as it goes up it increases as it goes down it lowers right and as it goes right to the right it increases and then as it goes left it lowers so you see here 13 17 13 that's not right um, we're gonna fix that here it lower everywhere uh, it took gas out of here everywhere it didn't do anything from the here to the bottom except by this this three cells well actually it did here um, because probably it was 51 kPa or something like that so this is what the Megalog viewer the difference between this and you doing by hand is by hand you would need to come in here and say okay right on this point here so 11 2 11 5 so what it did was it changed this to 117 so 4120 and 4120 it changed to 117 so I mean that's a pretty good uh, calculator that does all the work for us so here I'm gonna click on I can either exit or accept accept new table so the new table is here for me um, and now I can do whatever I want with this um, I either save it so I can close it it's gonna say hi hey, you want to save it and then you save and it's gonna show up in here we're gonna do that um, I want to show you a few things I don't quite know how to understand this thing here but it's uh, your injectors the way they open on every single map uh, RPM and AFR and all that stuff so if you know how how this works uh, yeah make a little comment down here and this actually is a good analysis that this thing runs and says um, and gather information in here how many pass how many passes it did in here and how many times it had that AFR so you see here I'm running lean I'm going to running rich running rich running rich I don't want tens in here um, so that's what it does it grabs all this data and changes for you so that said I'm gonna close this guy I'm gonna say yes I want to save I'm gonna save as a current tune so I know that my old tune is in here if something goes wrong I can just revert um, and I'm sorry for the long video <clears throat> but um, it's necessary so uh, now we load this guy and we have the table so if I open my VE table now I have it here of course you see here 96 97 96 right um, of course you also got to change this year to keep it consistent and now if I have 83 uh, it gotta be something like this this looks good so idea now is to smooth everything out uh, get the areas like this here for example 13 17 13 17 so I know uh, that this was pretty close so I think 17 it's a pretty accurate number um, so I'm gonna trust that 17 and I'm going to interpolate in here between 17 and 21 which also was a change uh, and change those two numbers in the middle without need to uh, change by myself so 
if I do that, 17, 18, 20, 21. Um, yep, so we got that pretty good. Of course, here is 16. Uh, and, and, you know, we got to do now the same thing uh, and be sure that all the numbers are good. Uh, this was 21. It dropped to 21. Uh, in here, I'm going to try to see. I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but um, I know that if here's 21, this one should be something around 20, and this could be 19, and this could be 17 and 14. I mean, this, this kind of looks all right. Uh, but then again, I mean, I need to be sure that everything is smooth. If you look here, I'll probably have like weird spikes. Look at that. There's a hole in here. So I need to be sure that everything else is smooth. Woo. And that's it, guys. I just want to show you this because uh, this is how I run uh, DVE analyzer. This is how we use it. Um, and it's actually pretty efficient because um, th there is a very, very good algorithm behind the scenes. Um, and to be very honest, I mean, most most of these calculations and, and fuel and all, all these numbers you see, it's all math, right? Um, I'm a software developer, so I, I can understand all of this. I know what is behind the scenes. I'm not a tuner, so um, I'm learning, and this helps me learn a lot because um, it helps validate what I had in mind or what I can see on the logs. Um, and you know, but does it does for me all over the map? So I don't need if I get the logs and I miss uh, one kPa, like 60 kPa uh, on 4,000 RPM, right? Or even worse, like 200 kPa on 4,000 RPM, which is going to be way up and boost. And I miss that one. One of the logs is going to get it and it's going to uh, slowly start changing the values for me and I mean it's less chance of having detonation and stuff but you also need to check it because if your AFR table is incorrect you're gonna have an incorrect uh, correction and all that stuff and then you have your problem again I mean always uh, if you do go to dyno and all that stuff that's ideal you got a professional tuner that's ideal but you know I want to learn how to do everything I like that that that's that excites me um, and that's why I'm here on YouTube I learn stuff and I want to share it and you know um, that's what fulfills me so if I'm able to help you doing this kind of stuff it's great so I guess the same thing happened to whoever developed that thing they, they thought about oh let's help more these people and you know and they, they did this awesome too so uh, yeah um, I'm gonna run the car tomorrow um, I'm gonna show you probably on the next video how the auto tune works uh, which is technically the same thing but instead of grabbing the logs and coming home and seeing what's happening you just hit a button and it's changing accordingly to whatever you're driving so if your AFR table is incorrect um, your car might stall on the street so you need to be sure that first your table is correct second you have your tune saved with a different name not current current tune and if something happens you just go load msq and load in the tune you saved so you can go back home and that's it guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, and if you do consider hitting this little bell button uh right close to the subscribe that's going to give you a indication that i have a notification that i have a new video and there's a bunch of cool exciting things coming along and quick next week is going to snow so i get this car running by tomorrow which is sunday so yeah i appreciate your guys support and i'll see you on the next video